Alright, hey guys, uh, this should be the last video. There's, uh, there's not a whole lot more of, uh, code to actually write, but, um, some of this stuff is a little, uh, uh, actually not even really that much conceptual. So, um, it shouldn't, it's not that hard, as long as you know your if and else statements. And, um, you know, you understand what I'm doing here. So, um, uh, because I have, uh, a 15 minute upload limit, uh, and it's not going to take that long. I, I can talk a little bit about um, if and else is real quick. So uh, uh, I'm assuming that you you know if and else, but in, just in case you don't, um, this and I don't even know if I talked about this in one of my previous videos because this has been like a a 40 minute endeavor of uh, worth of actual stuff I can use, and there's a whole lot of other time, including the uh, the retakes, but um. So with this if, if uh, this statement says, well, if this statement is true, then um, then uh, then you should run this. So um, it says if the coin count is greater than or equal to one, then you need to add the you need to take away uh, one from the coin count, and then run this if statement, and then this if statement, and um, and uh. So, uh, so that's what those those ifs are kind of easy, but um, the last little uh, the last little bit is uh the else statement, and uh, I'll describe this really quick. Uh, it's the else statement is uh, it's saying if so we have this if the count is greater than or equal to one. So that says if it's any if it's equal to one, then you should run all of all of this highlighted. But if it's not, then you need to run what's ever going to be in this bracket. So would that would be in this area right in here, the, this big gap. So um, so the uh, the first thing that you know we should uh, we should think about is um is reformatting those numbers, the uh, the random uh, the random one, two, and three, and not even so much the numbers, but the the labels themselves. And uh, that's the way that I did it, at least. Or just uh. Uh, reformatting the, the 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 actual J labels. So um, when I went about doing it, I uh, I had this idea. Well, you know, uh, I could just set it where uh, I said uh, J label one and two uh, to just blank. So they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't even be there anymore. And then for the J label three. Uh, we would set it to actually tell them something like um. So, for example, like we could say, "Sorry, you are out of coins." So um. And now though, now if the once this if it if the else statement runs, um, it will uh it will print that. So also uh, but then again, if if you still remember from. Where is it? Uh, right here. No, where do we set the uh, the font size for those? Up here. We we set the the uh, number one through three J labels to uh, the the f uh, forty font size. So, you know, you're not gonna have this mat this uh, good chunk of text at a forty font. So we're gonna need to reformat these. So uh, I'm just gonna uh, steal that real quick. So and then I'll, I'll reform. I'll tell them to be different sizes. Um, I didn't run it. The uh, the program. I didn't try running it if without reformatting the uh, the number one and number two. Uh, I was gonna, but I decided. You know why even bother? I mean, it'd just be easier just to uh, reformat all three than in, instead of just testing it individually. So uh, I just kind of. Uh, um, I just kind of just reformatted them and didn't bother if uh, just figure out even if those would come out normal. I just assumed that you know it'd just be easier just to uh, just to uh, change it anyways. So um, uh, then the uh, the final last little bit here is to uh, we have to keep updating um, the number of doubles and uh, the number of triples and the number of pulls and the the uh, uh, how many coins we have left? So uh, that uh, uh, once the uh, if statement runs, 
uh, when the, uh, it runs its course, we it will be updated. And uh, so let's see here. Uh, let's. I think this is the uh, the right spot. I'm not. I don't remember entirely sure. So, but if it if it's if it isn't, um. I'm just taking a, a wild guess that it's here. If it's not, I'll just, it's either here or in this spot here. So uh, if this one doesn't work, I'll, I'll move it down uh, a section. So uh, we're gonna, number of dollars, doubles, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, in my class we've been doing, we started off a lot of the, uh, the stuff with uh, money formats like, uh, we had to take a whole bunch of change and then say how many dollars that was. And then uh, we had a bunch of stuff like that. And uh, I just got used to writing dollars. So I'm sorry about, sorry about that. So um, this is, uh, you know, updating the, the number of doubles that uh, our J panel has. And then uh, this one is our triples. I don't know if you can hear that guitar in the back. That's my roommate. He's uh he's big into the it's guitar. I think a little too much. So then um the coin dot set text. Well uh you know obviously obviously you you understand you have to at least by now understand what I'm doing by now. Even even if you haven't had any Java experience at all and you just kinda stumbled on this video, uh you, I, I hope I gave at least a, uh, you, uh, coins left, you have, but, uh, even if you just did stumble upon this video and, um, you don't have any experience with, uh, JavaScript, at least you, I hope I, I at least tried to make it where, um, you could understand a portion of what I was saying, uh, so yeah. I mean, I, I don't expect if if you don't have any um uh, if you don't have any experience with uh, JavaScript, you probably you sh should learn a little bit before you. But um, but I, I feel like I did a pretty good job at uh, keeping it simple. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank on what this uh, integer is. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, Got to put that in there too. Mm, our polls. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll I'll, uh, I'll add this J label in, and then um, I forgot to uh, actually put it in the count. Um. So let's see. It would uh it would have to go here because uh obviously once you click here, we don't want it down in here because. You know, even if you click, keep clicking it, uh, it would just keep counting. And so uh, we'd want it up in this first uh, if statement. So uh, we'll say uh, number of uh, number of polls plus plus. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna make that big just to uh, see, and then we're gonna compile this. And um. Okay. So we shouldn't have any. Um, we shouldn't have any problems, um, but let's uh, let's see what happens when we come uh, when we avoid this. Okay, so we have I, I said it uh, I said it to one coin uh, earlier in between these videos because uh, I was testing it. So uh, as you can see, we have uh, uh, that disappeared. I forgot to uh, tell it the coins. Uh, you have, yeah, see, I can candidate, but I forgot to tell the coin count. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's set it to, uh, uh, just so you can get a full flavor of it, we'll set it to five instead of just one, so you can actually see it run a little more how it's supposed to be like. I mean, I don't want to set it to 15 or 30 or something like that, so I'm sitting here clicking, watching you, uh, making you watch me click a button a ton of times, but, so, uh, so, yeah.
uh, once it gets down to zero and uh, you pull the slot one more time, uh, so you use your last coin, uh, it says, sorry, you are all out of coins. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that pretty much uh, finishes up the program. Uh, I hope it made sense. And, um, and uh, yeah, so uh, if you have anything somewhat similar to where you have to uh, generate random numbers and uh, have if or else or nested ifs, then I hope this helped. All right, uh, have a great one, guys.